Hey guys, how are you tonight? It's Red Orca bringing you another Halo Wars video. This one is a 3v3 on Frozen Valley. It is me, NickMX66, and I do not even try, versus Mr. Sexy Brute, Death Reaper1849, and AOW No Mercy, uh, 823. I actually had to look that up because I'm just so used to referring to him as No Mercy that I didn't actually know the numbers after his name. Um, well, I just want to say, first and foremost, happy 2016 to all of you. I hope everybody's out having some fun, or will be soon, or had a nice relaxing night in, if that's what you prefer. Um, either way, I hope that your year is better than 2015 was for you. I hope it's a great year. I hope it brings all everything that you could hope for. Uh, even though it'll be a full year out, uh, exactly 365 days from day today, Halo Wars 2 is slated to drop as is Gears 4, which I'm excited for both, but I think the people watching this video are much more excited for Halo Wars 2. So yes, exactly one year from today, we will have that game. <laughs> Speaking of games, this one is actually pretty old. Like, um, I'm actually looking at this and kind of cringing because the camera's zooming around a little slower than in my newer videos. This is right uh, recorded right when I came back. Uh, this one is from this summer. We played this, and I actually meant to put it up then, but I misplaced it. Uh, before I had a much better organization system for my files, and I found it going through pictures to print for my mom for Christmas. So I was like, oh, oops, okay, I'll put it up now. So you can have my delayed game. Um, I hope it's still enjoyable for people, even though it's old now. But um, Tryhard is Anders, AOW No Mercy is Anders. Sexy Brute and Nick are both Arbiter, and Death Reaper and I are both Brute. So you notice he's actually uh, crossing through the center faster than me, even though I also went to Temple first. Uh, some of that is because I stopped to pick up that money, and uh, two, well, you'll notice the base placement. He's gone straight up to the center, and I'm curving to the side and then going to him. But uh, he's hitting um, Nick's base, so... Uh, and No Mercy's Hogs are also up on O, although I think they're actually going to go spawn block me. But the Brute right now is hitting the Arbiter. You notice that Tryhard there just intercepted No Mercy's Hogs on his way to my base. So our uh, Arbiter and Anders are on defense. Their Anders and uh, their Brute are on offense. I have not seen their Arbiter yet, so... Um, no idea where Sexy Brute is <laughs> at this point. I'm assuming he's on defense. Just because... Um, oh, never mind. Nope. Triple offense. You'll notice that uh, we have one player on offense. That'd be me. And then they have um, three. And I thought those hogs were dead, so I made a mistake in unlocking there. That was my mess up. I'm looking at this. I'm like, oh, man, I cannot believe I did that. Goody. <laughs> So I'm just going to lock that base, and so nothing else goes through, because boy, what a waste that was if I had actually gotten that unlock off. This wouldn't be a 17-minute video. This would be a short one, you know, with them all on Nick's base. Um, but there you have it. <laughs> also, you can tell this is an older video because I didn't look around as much, so I'm like, ah, sorry, guys. But uh, there's Tryhard there making sure I can get the unlock off. Uh, Death Reaper is uh, just going quick Citadel now, and he just recalled his Chieftain. And Sexy Brute is no longer on O, so... I didn't really, um, you know, put through many Brutes, so I'm just going to stop now. Stop rushing, just because, uh, yeah, I have a healthy Chieftain, but they're on me. I'm not going to get much through, and Death Reaper is already on Citadel, so uh, even though I wouldn't have built it as quickly as he did, at this point, I have to worry about getting air up as well. So, you see Nick coming through there on the map on offense. Tryhard's hogs are still there safely away from Sexy Brute, but he's coming up as well. Um, I think right now, at this point of the game, if I remember correctly, and from watching this video, uh, Tryhard does have more hogs than No Mercy at this point in the game, so uh, we're not in a bad spot. Oh, um, going back to the news currently going on at the game right now, uh, I think most people at this point are pretty much playing customs. Most of the games I've played currently are customs, just because uh, online doesn't seem to happen. <laughs> There's not a lot of people searching, uh, although it is um, holiday and a lot of people are off school, so you do see some people and some definitely some f familiar names that I hadn't seen in a while, like um, that recently came back, like Blop came back recently, Oops was back. 
So, all in all, very exciting. Um, but I know everybody was still waiting for Halo Wars to be backwards compatible on the One. And uh, my update on that is um, they haven't pulled it off the website showing what's coming soon. Uh, they're still showing Halo Wars. They're still showing Black Ops 1. They are still showing um, both Bioshock games that are coming. Um, as far as backwards compatible games go, from what I've been told and from checking them out myself, Mass Effect works the best. So single player games. Um, Reach, I still haven't given a try, but I haven't heard anything encouraging, which is why I haven't given it a try. Um, but I've been lowing through online forums. It seems like Halo Wars appeared and then disappeared from the download ability for the, on the one, so I'm thinking they might be having some problems. And uh, rumor has it that the next big update is actually going to be in February, and I really would like to be wrong on that, because with this sequel coming out in exactly a year from now, it would be nice if it could be on the next gen console. I think there are some problems, of course, with the emulator. Sorry, but they're running it as an emulator. I uh, don't know what the issue exactly is, so I don't want to quote say anything in case I'm wrong, but either way, while I'm really excited about this Xbox One backwards compatibility, it doesn't seem to be working as well as it could. So right there, um, Nick, uh, to go back to this game instead of babbling about backwards compatibility, Nick is on offense and was able to catch a lot of No Mercy's hogs. Sexy Brute is defending them, but um, Nick was able to get out without losing his Arbiter, and, you know, definitely it was good for our team. So... I still have my brute, so I'm going to keep going to, um, back to Death Reaper's base. I had to think about who it was for a second. Even though he's playing Arbiter, I keep wanting to say Sexy Brute because, well, Brute's in his name. Um, you know, I, I hope this is the year somebody makes a Mr. Sexy Prophet or a Mr. Sexy Cutter, just because, well, maybe I'll be the one to do it, just because there needs to be one, but either way. Uh, Death Reaper was stacking, so you notice there's quite a lot of brutes in there. I'm not sure where his chieftain is, but uh, it's going to show up somewhere. Um, there's also, in addition to brutes, you see the brute there, brute there. He's got grunts, he's got a haul, um, basically planning on haul rushing. So Tryhard's coming in to stop that. I went quickly to air. Um, those are the two options for Brute on this map. Uh, I really would only suggest ever going Wraiths if you're facing double UNSC or triple UNSC. But there's the Brute. Uh, I guess um, the Brute was locked in the base, so there is that. Um, so Tryhard's going to go ahead and use his D-bomb to kill off the rest of the Grunts and to kill the Chieftain. Um, just because <laughs> you really don't want that just unchecked, going to show up at anybody's base. So... Um, if he'd managed to get that somewhere, he could have definitely done a lot of damage. He does have a back turret, and now No Mercy's coming in to play defense with his hogs and kind of stop us from doing too much damage, because that D-bomb there, the Arbiter can't defend. Um, whereas Nick has found No Mercy's Expo, which uh, should be mostly fresh Expo, because he didn't have it up a couple minutes ago when both of the Arby's were over there. So, um, yeah, it's got... Um, had and a half on it, so uh, it should be killable. Okay, make that two pads. I'm wrong. Well, okay, a pad and a barracks, and then the like, upcoming pad. I could talk today, but um, I'm gonna go in there, stop the pad, and Mercy's gonna defend it. I don't really feel like losing what air I have since they're not very healthy, so I'm gonna get out of there. If I had Tech 2, I would have stayed and fought it, but uh, as it is, I'm not. And then there's Tryhard. Um, still, he was on O. Luckily, a lot of his hogs are at his base, so he didn't lose too many there to the Arbiter and the hogs. So, But both UNSCs have Expos at this point. Nick's Arbiter's not healthy, but he was in the middle of healing when the hogs come up. I'm going to leave the air in to shoot at him well, so he can kill as many of them as possible. Um, but either way, he was able to damage some of them. So, again, we're not in a bad spot this game at all. Um, so kind of regretting that unlock I did early. Like I said, this would have been a shorter game. But, um, again, I apologize for the no news on the backwards compatibility. Really just rumors that I'm seeing on web forums and 
just the fact that they haven't pulled the um, game off their website list because they do have this little disclaimer at the bottom where it says subject to change list of uh, backwards compatible games can change at any every time anytime oh man okay they just got a good cryo off on me that was bad with my part <laughs> good job no mercy um yeah but uh back to the backwards compatibility i i kind of am a little nervous about that disclaimer i know they legally have to say that so if something goes wrong they, they, nobody can try to sue them for money but um yeah uh, it's, right now, they still haven't taken it off the website, even with the list about how it can change at any time. So I still think we'll see it, just because I think Microsoft recognizes that uh, Halo, especially Halo Wars, is still has a loyal following. Also, with them putting all the gears on, uh, I think they're trying to put every game that they own, which, as you know, um, gears used to be owned by Epic. Now Microsoft owns it and has given it to the Coalition. And, of course, Halo used to be the head of co-op with Microsoft and Bungie. Now Microsoft has it. Ensemble doesn't have this game anymore. So either way, because Microsoft owns it, I think they will be very inclined to still get that out. So I'm hopeful. Um, back to this game. Right now I think No Mercy is still on a double base. But uh, Tryhard now has three. Uh, Sexy Brute has now gone to Vampires. I'm not sure what the blue player is building since we did go and do a lot of damage to his base and he was trying to haul rush. It doesn't look like Death Reaper has a lot going up right now, so... Um, right now with me being on the other end of the map, I'm worried about getting a Brute over there and I kind of need Tech 2 now, so I probably could have walked one over sooner, but as it is, I'm just going to buy Tech 2 off my base and if I go for Tech 3, I'm going to go ahead and walk the Brute then. Because... At some point, I'm going to have to buy, uh, if the game goes long enough, I'm going to want Tech 3, and I'm going to have to buy the second Tech upgrade, so I might as well just buy it now. Although you'll notice by that red dot over there, that's because uh, Nick and Tri are, are doing a good job sharing that reactor, so there's no issue there. Um, since Tri doesn't need it anymore, he has Goss, and then Nick can get Tech 2 RB stuff. But, uh... Notice by the flaring tires, just going ahead and healing his hogs up before they push together. Uh, Nick is tech too, so um, I don't know what sexy brute is, but since uh, I'm going ahead and having a few vampires just to fight theirs, even though we do have Goss as well, just because eventually at some point I'm expecting Death Reaper to switch to anti air. Because he doesn't have any unit building, um, well, buildings, so it would make the most sense strategically for him to switch to anti-air at this point. Uh, Sexy Brute is also tech 2, so, well, I mean, I knew he had it because the um, vampires but I hadn't seen his Arbiter in a while. So, there's the D-bomb. So the Arbiters are both kind of neutralized in this fight now. It's, um, the, well, except for him, he's picking off, him off off the side, which is the thing you do. So Tryhard's trying to stay close to that D-bomb. This is a sexy boost there on the outside. He does come out of this with more hogs. Uh, no Mercy does lose um, much more of them. All units. Enemy engagement. There's a reason why I picked this game, by the way, if you're wondering, because this isn't too dissimilar from some of the other games I've posted on Frozen. And again, this one's old, so we'd all just recently come back and started playing together, but there's a definite reason I post this one. Um, Uh, you'll see why, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, I'll, I'll save that, you'll see it. It comes up in a couple minutes, but uh, it turns out I didn't actually need those vampires like I thought I did, because we're still not seeing anything from Death Reaper. It's really just Sexy Brute's vampires, so I'm going to go ahead and fight those with mine. Um, and then bring my Banshees in to do base damage. So, because uh, Tryhard and Nick are going to try to kill this base. Uh, you notice uh, Tryhard and Nick. Tryhard's hogs are there. Nick's with him. Sex they just killed Sexy Brute. And there's the unit's Death Reaper build. Okay, so they showed up sooner than I thought. Um, you know, I said the viable things for a brute to build on this map actually could be all. Basically, you could build wraiths if they're W to C or triple U to C. You could build um, banshees, vampires, uh, a hall full of stuff. But I. 
I admit, I used to hate him, but I really love raids. And I like any game where raids get to make an appearance. I had to post uh, one of my games because I got a chance to use him. And this one, I didn't get a chance to use him, but Death Reaper does go raids. So because of that, I wanted to share this one. Just because um, I don't think raids get enough use in this game. And I, I hope they are in the next game and that they get lots of use. Just because they're so much fun the way they move and everything about them. <laughs> I guess that sounds dumb, I'm being a dork, but that's the whole reason I posted this, was one, to wish you all a happy new year, to talk about how Halo Wars is exactly a year away, and because Wraiths. <laughs> but either way, at this point, I don't really have to worry about vampires, because the hogs themselves are anti-air. I have, so I, I don't really need those, I can keep going with the Banshees, because uh, Banshees being anti-Wraith. So I think we're in a pretty good spot this game. Sexy Brute is back out, and he is doing damage definitely there to um, Tarot's Hogs. But Nick's there as well, and I know I've mentioned, they've mentioned before, and I think other people, of course, always mention how important it is to have the Hogs and the Arbiter together. So then the Wraiths are coming back in, and um, Tarot's going to head by that base. So right now they are, this game's pretty much over. So I, I think Death Reaper probably went Wraiths just because the um, we had Hog lead. So there is that. And uh, actually, I have to confess, I have gone Wraiths before on Exile when um, our, not with this team, but with different people when our Arbiter got cheesed and needed him for that. But that's not this game. So anyway, I'll go back to this game in hand. Like I said, this one's a few months old. And I uh, really appreciate you watching. I'm going to put up a much newer game, probably Saturday, because tomorrow I might be hungover. Probably shouldn't admit that, but it's the truth. So, um, again, thank you very much for watching my videos. Thank you very much for listening to me babble. And I hope you had as much fun watching this as I did playing it. And I hope somebody out there loves Wraiths as much as I do. But until next time, um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Team is victorious.